incredible how the simple acts of giving can have an enormous impact, like taking the time to donate blood. Did you know that one third of blood donations help treat people with cancer? That a single donation can save three lives and that age is no barrier to donating? Today, we're at Wollongong Blood Donor Centre on the New South Wales South Coast. We're tagging along with Eric and Louise Lemon, who are both in their 60s. They're old hats at donating. Eric has made roughly 380 blood donations and Louise has made 200. They're going to show us how it's done. So what got you started? <laughs> Hunger. Hunger? <laughs> Hunger. I was 19, I was living in a, in a flat with three other young fellas, 18, 19 and there was never any food in the flat and it was not far from Wollongong Hospital and I thought, where can I get something to eat? <laughs> so I went up and donated blood. Um, actually, Eric convinced me to come with him. He'd been donating since he was 19 and when we got, just before we got married, he said, yeah, how about you come up and donate some blood? So I went, okay. So it's been going on for 38 years. Wow. What do people need to check or be aware of before they donate? Yep, so to donate blood in Australia, there is an eligibility criteria that you need to satisfy. A few main points that I'd um, point out for the seniors who are thinking about donating blood, um, one would be travel deferral, so sometimes you need to wait for a period of time upon returning from Australia before you donate blood, so places like Southeast Asia, South America, Central America, you need to wait for four months upon returning to Australia. Another big one that could be um, could affect a lot of seniors is medications. Um, again, medications are a funny one where there's a lot of medications where you can donate blood quite happily on. It's no problem at all. There's others that you can't. And in between there, there's medications where if you're at a stable dosage, your condition's under control, then you can donate sometime. So again, give us a call, 13, 14, 95, okay. and just clear that before you come on in. So what age can you actually donate up until? So to donate blood in Australia, you need to be between 16 and 70. To expand on that a little bit further, you can donate blood all the way through to your 81st birthday. Mm -hmm. You just can't start donating blood after 70. Okay. So if you start at age 69, you can go all the way through to 81st. You just can't start after 70. Okay. So I'm sure that the best part of donating is how you feel after doing it. Yeah. But, but what about the, the great food on offer here as well? Is that, does that come in second? Well, it does really. But um, yeah, they really look after you. You've got plenty to eat and drink afterwards. And um, the staff here are amazing. They've always been very friendly. And what would you say to someone who's never given blood before and who feels a bit nervous about the whole process? Uh, there's really nothing to be nervous about. It's, it's a pretty painless procedure. The initial needle going in, that's about the only pain you have and yeah, it's a pretty easy thing to do. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So how long do you think you'll continue to donate blood? Oh, just as long as I can. Um, because I don't take any regular medication and things, I'm still quite healthy and fit, so I'll just keep doing it as long as possible. If you want to help save lives and give back to the community, simply head to donateblood.com.au and make an appointment to donate today.